Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important, as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. Welcome back, everyone. Well, as you know, one of the real nice things about the community we live in is there's a number of organizations involved with outreach programs. And two years ago, one of my guests was here with a very interesting outreach program called School of Palooza. And uh, we'll explain to you in a, in a second what that is. And so we invite him back again. And he uh, brought a friend of his. <laughs> These are both youth pastors of churches in our community. Uh, Nate Olson is uh, Church of the King, right, youth pastor? Yes. Welcome back, Nate. Thank you. Very nice to have you here. And this is Matt Losey, first time guest here. Yes, yeah. Who's the youth pastor with the New Hope Community Church. Welcome. Yes. Thank you for having us. Nice Appreciate to have you lot. both yeah. here. A uh, couple of years ago, we got wind that you were doing this really wonderful program and hosting this wonderful event to really give children in the community a leg up when they start school. Not everybody's fortunate enough to have all the supplies they need, all the backpacks, you know. Uh, it could be any number of different things, clothing. It could be all kinds of things, right? Right. And uh, so you hold this event, I think, six years running. Isn't that right? Um, this will be our fourth year, actually. All right. So, and yeah. you've been involved. We've been involved yeah, in Converge with the youth. for six years. Yes. Yeah. That's called Converge Youth. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just explain to our viewers what that yeah. is. Converge Youth is a lot of the youth pastors and a lot of the churches in our community get together, work together to, uh, to benefit programs concerning right. the youth. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, yeah, got it, okay. Um, so Tuesday, coming up, is School of Palooza in Crandall Park. Mm -hmm. So tell me what's going on. Yeah, we're gonna have a great time. Uh, we get together, um, we have probably 100 volunteers um, that come to the event and help out, um, all from the community. Um, we give out 1,500 backpacks full of school supplies for all, age, all school age kids. Mm -hmm. um, so we're excited. Plus, we have a lot of other activities to do. So, Matt, let them know. Yeah, so we <laughs> have. What, what uh, else you got going on? There's, um, I mean, one of the major things with this, uh, this event is we didn't want it to just be passing out supplies. We wanted it to be a, a really fun event for the kids, too, mm -hmm. that they could come. So we have a rock wall, there's horseback riding, there's going to be a dunk team and bounce houses and a lot of different things. Uh, like that. But in addition to that, we're also doing a, a clothing closet. Great. So if people want to be able to come and, and not just for school supplies, but also for uh, for school clothes or anything That's like right. that. We've had a lot of people that have donated different things so they can come and just get ready for, for the school year. So Yeah, yeah it's nice. So I, I, I tell from your enthusiasm about this. It really yeah, means something excited. to you guys, doesn't Absolutely. it? Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I know. We love our does. community and just yeah. want to be a blessing to them for sure. Yeah, I, I get that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, because we were, we were talking before uh, this interview, uh, you know, you think about it, a lot of children have all the things they need when they go to school, but there are plenty of families mm. that don't have it. And when you think about a child going to school with the dis in a disadvantaged position of not having the things that they need, right. it doesn't give them that, that spirit that they need to really start the year off right, yeah. you know? Yeah. So there you are doing that. And, and in terms of the volunteers, uh, a lot of people in the community come out for this. Uh, we've got people there that uh, are, have set up booths if there are dental supplies that somebody might need yeah, a dentistry. Right. I think somebody was there cutting hair Absolutely, even, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you get the idea. You know, you bring the kids there. They can have a great time. Mm -hmm. You can look around and see what's available, mm -hmm. and you can get a backpack. And it's grade school through high school, through right? High school, right. Yep. Yes. And, and Lord knows that the, uh, pun intended there, <laughs> that the supplies that a high schooler needs are not the same supplies that a grade schooler needs. Right, absolutely. Right? Yeah. yeah, so we will have two separate, uh, two separate categories of backpacks for yeah, grade school it. and junior and senior high kids. I've got it. Now, a uh, couple of years ago when you were here, uh, you zipped through all of those. Mm -hmm. So the need is there in the community, right? right? Yeah. Um, the first year we kind of got overwhelmed because we didn't know that the need was there. Um, yeah, that's right. And after we got wind of what we, <laughs> what uh, people needed, um, we were giving away 1,500 backpacks. Mm -hmm. um, last year we gave away 1,100 um, right in the park, right in Crandall Park, Great. and we ended up giving away the rest after the event. So. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes quite a bit of work to put this together. Mm -hmm. I mean, outside of the fact that you have to 
find all those backpacks. You have to put all the supplies in all of those backpacks. But right. you're organizing this event with rock walls and horseback riding and <laughs> yes. all that stuff. That's fantastic. Yeah. Really yeah, we're is. excited about it. All right. So your mission, should you choose to accept it. Uh, Crandall Park, right in Glens Falls. You can't miss it. They take up a big section of the park, right. by the way, <laughs> across from the Y. And uh, 5 to 8 p.m., so it doesn't interfere with a weekend, and right. it doesn't interfere with the work day or something like that. So Tuesday, 5 to 8 p.m., head over to Crandall Park with your family. Uh, check out uh, the things that they're offering there. And let your kids have a good time. Mm -hmm. And uh, really help a lot of the youth in our community start the year off right. Start the school year off right. Yes, yeah, 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 got it. Well, pleasure to meet you. Thank you so yes, much. Thanks, thanks for having coming us. in, Nate. Thanks for coming back again. Absolutely. And uh, with a little bit of luck, we'll be talking about this next year, too, <laughs> right? So, yeah. <laughs> Put in the good word for me, will you? Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> to see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com. Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important, as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. Exceptional products. Expert design. Experienced professionals. An American Buildings Company authorized builder can turn your dream of a new building into a reality. Because ABC Builders are local contractors, they know your market and can handle your project from beginning to end. So if you're ready today, your ABC Builder is building tomorrow. Call Munter Enterprises, 518-584-6174.